Hello people, today is Wednesday, one day post chemo of week three. I am feeling pretty good. Previous weekend, side note, I got really sick, woke up on Saturday. Normally Fridays are my bad days where I just feel a little icky, but I woke up on Saturday and threw up all day, had a horrible headache. It was fun. Um, so, mentioned that to my nurse during chemo, and she listened to my lungs because my daughter said she can hear them gurgling, and I can hear them gurgling. So, they, they listened to my lungs and they took a chest x ray, and I'm sure it verified for them what I know is that my lungs are filling up and I'm short of breath. And I'm going to low cut. Excuse me while I pull it up. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure we probably reached the point where I'm going to have to have a thoracentesis, which is the long needle that goes in and drains it. I'm sure having my lungs filling with fluid is causing a little bit more nausea because that presses on my stomach. Um, so anyway, back to the nausea and the not feeling well on Saturday. Having mentioned that, they want me to keep taking my current nausea medicine, but they've also given me whoops, sorry, a patch, uh, which is the same medication they give me for my pre-nausea pre-meds prior to chemo, and it's the Kytril patch, and it lasts for seven days so. I will keep you posted. I will let you know how that works for me. If you have any issues with that yourself, um, when your nadir is, when your day three or day, I don't know, it could be day two for you, whatever day it falls on for you, the bad day, the day of the week where the chemo buildup is the worst and you feel the worst and you may or may not get sick. I will let you know how this patch is working for me. If it gets me through Friday and Saturday and I don't, get headachy and feel ill or become ill, it is a win. And I will fill that prescription and use it and be very happy about it. So, yeah. It wouldn't stay stuck down, so I had my daughter put some tape on it for me. I know it's not attractive. Maybe maybe you guys got some suggestions. Maybe you're a little further down that road than me or on a different road than me and you've already tried this or you use it, suggestions, tips, ways to make it pretty, wrap an armband around it, I don't know, something to prevent it from popping up because you want it to stay stuck and do its magic keep you from being sick. So that is the chemo update and that is what's going on with us. Uh, little side issues of having cancer. My hair is starting to kind of come in, but then every time I have a treatment, I notice little fluffs of it coming out. I don't know. It's like pretty hot here in Texas right now, and I don't really like wearing wigs. I don't really like itchy head from wearing a wig. Um, you know, it's instant gratification going from nothing to having hair. So that's good. You can stay in air conditioning all the time. Um, do you want to say hello, Sadie? Sadie wants to say hello. Mm -hmm. yeah. Happy intermission. I lost a baby tooth yesterday, she says. It just fell right out of my mouth. And now I'm going to get a bigger tooth. She turned one on the 4th of July. Say hello to the people. Do you know you're on camera? Yeah, you just want your ball. She says, whoa, I see a dog. <laughs> Isn't she growing? I can't believe it. She's eight pounds. She's just getting to be a full grown dog. So that was the Sadie appearance. Um, I have a question of the week for you guys. Something new I'm starting, and I really hope I get a response on this. Bras. 
what do you wear? Where do you shop? Where do you get your bras? I don't know what age bracket of women or men are are watching me, but uh, bras are an issue when you have had a breast removed. I can see my prosthesis here. See, I cannot very frequently wear straps like this with outfits because the bras that I have are these massive, you know, three-quarter inch straps to hold you level with uh, on, on the right side. I have, you know, a little insert that I put in my bra and most bras don't come with pockets. So I know it's just really shallow, but I'm a very girly girl and I like dressing up and I like feeling feminine and pretty in the clothing that I wear. And the bras that you find for mastectomy bras are very, they're not even matronly. Let's go further. They're like prison garb. They are uncomfortable. They're ugly. They're practical and they do the job. Yay. So if you're going to wear t-shirts and stuff all the time, um, that's great. This is a mastectomy bra that comes with the thick straps, but you can wrap it in like crisscross in the back or straight, whatever, for wearing under sundresses and spaghetti straps. But the straps are still thick and ugly. Can I say frickin' ugly? Ugly. They're ugly. They're not pretty at all. So I've researched, you know, where can you go? Surely there is some sensitive clothing line that produces bras that has said, you know, Let's make some nice bras because there are a lot of women out there. We're starting to catch up with the normal population for purchases. Um, we're actually starting to outnumber them. So maybe somebody out there who's a manufacturer who makes bras would consider that a good money-making venture. Not Victoria's Secret. Apparently there was a recent campaign from a girl whose mother has the same issues that I have and she approached Victoria's Secret and they said we will never make a prosthetic bra. Good job Victoria's Secret. Makes you real popular with people. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a pocket man. Just put a pocket in a bra. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to buy normal pretty bras but not from Victoria's Secret, but normal pretty bras and sew my own name pocket in. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe that's what I need to do. And then start customizing them for people like you. I don't know. But the question, getting back to the question is, the question is, do you know of a place that you can purchase feminine, pretty, mastectomy, prosthetic, bras from? Where do you get your bras? That's the question. So post the answers, any suggestions or links in the comment section below this video if you're watching it on YouTube or if you are on my blog, just go ahead and go beneath the blog and there's an area for you to leave a comment or email me. And yeah, so I hope you all are having a great week, that you fared well the long 4th of July weekend, that you enjoyed some fireworks displays, and that you had fun with your family and your friends, and maybe took a few moments to do something just for you, something special for you. So, and if you didn't, you should do that this week. Carve out 15 minutes to do something for yourself that you wouldn't normally do. Polish your nails, put your feet up, turn your phone off. I don't know, something where you get a few minutes of peace for yourself. So, I don't really have anything else to update you on. I'm just really, really happy to not be nauseous right now. And... Uh, I'm really, really happy to be talking to you. So thanks for stopping by Leslie's Cancer Confessions. 
with his comments about the bra question in my comments down below. I really look forward to hearing your responses. Um, thanks for stopping by. Bye, people.